You know, I wasn't actually going to make a video today because uh, it has been a tough day and a tough uh, 24 hours and I'm just feeling a little bit fuzzy from all the rings of power watching, trying to process what I experienced from that episode and trying to make a good review and I just decided to take a little bit uh, time off t from this. But there is a breaking development which is backed by official news sources, uh, which I discovered by absolute accident. So the update concerns Ubisoft and what is their future, which I think we just got a little light shined on that. This is currently Ubisoft's uh, stock market, which is showing quite a big of an increase since last days. If you know me, every time that I make a video about Ubisoft, I talk about their stocks as well. They were kind of fixated at around 10 euro for the past uh, several days and they even dipped quite lower than that. As you can see, we see a whole graph for different time periods. Uh, I don't know why Google doesn't show me this uh, immediately after search, but uh, now I'm having to go to Yahoo Finance. But uh, if we go, let's say five days further, we see that they were at 992, uh, even, even lower than that in the past days. Uh, they were at 9.02 at one point in the past week. And we can see that today in the span of essentially an hour we have received a massive spike in their stock prices now this is not unprecedented however such stock price uh, increases uh, do come with some announcements or some developments within the company so i started uh, looking into it while i was still at work because this struck me as uh, quite strange and i discovered something very interesting that was still in development as a story it was like written 30 minutes uh, before i searched for it and the story was first uh, discovered by uh, cnbc that said ubisoft shares skyrocket 30 percent after report tencent guillemot family considering buyout now now the guillemot family if I'm saying their names correctly, here are essentially the co-founders, uh, the founders and co-founders of Ubisoft and Tencent is the Chinese conglomerate with uh, who basically deals in entertainment and a lot of other things. They're like quite huge and I actually looked them up on Wikipedia and they're basically one of the highest grossing multimedia companies in the world based on revenue. So I dug a little bit into this more and it would seem that Tencent is one of the minority shareholders in Ubisoft and if we see here from again Yahoo Finance who are also covering the story we see that they pretty much explain that they're speaking with advice to help explore ways to stabilize Ubisoft and bolster its value even though uh, the people who are saying this are asking not to be identified and one of the possibilities being discussed would involve teaming up to take the company private according to the people. If you remember in a previous video I talked about a law in France which basically allows minority shareholders to kind of band together and overrule the majority shareholders and take control of a firm or at least uh, the majority of its shares. So I think that's what's kind of going to happen in this case. I don't know if any other shareholders uh, will be involved in this and this is still a rumor. However, by this article, uh, there are some minority shareholders, including AJ Investments, that have been pushing for either a take, private, or a sale of Ubisoft to a strategic investor amid the stock price plunge. And we have to be absolutely honest here. Uh, Ubisoft stocks have been going downhill for the last five years. There were these reports of misconduct during the Me Too era in 2020. You had COVID, you had everything else, and now you have games that cost enormous amounts of money. From Star Wars Outlaws, from Skull and Bones, which allegedly cost between 650 and 800 million dollars, and it was in development for 10 years. Those are massive, absolutely massive amounts of money that have been spent with little to no returns. Skull and Bones I think had around one or two thousand people playing it 
at max and star wars outlaws within a whole month barely managed to sell 1 million copies so this is th these are massive amounts of money that they're being spent for nothing and with assassin's creed shadow latest developments are uh, being pushed for next year uh, being redone being remade and tweaked and if we are to take what Edimian said in his videos that I covered removing Yasuke and uh, inserting the original alleged Japanese protagonist back and reshooting the motion capture and changing the story this is just more and more massive amounts of money and the stocks have been going down for a long time I just wish to point you again to one of my most used graphs this is from the last five years this is in 2020 so we 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 rediscovered 2020 this is the lowest is 39.89 years highest is 57.3 years this is 21st of august 2019 then we see a massive increase going there we have a little steep down here and but it's continuing on this trend up and down up and up and it reached 86.34 on 1st of november 2021 and even 85.16 on the next day. Okay, this is uh, January of 2021. I misread the date. And from then, we just go down and down and down and down and down. And we go to some levels that are almost 85% down. You see here, this is 10 days ago when I covered this. This was on 9.01 euro. This is basically a downfall of the century. You have been, you have had the last four years just going down and down and down more and more with almost no returns and you keep spending those money. The Ubisoft just has kept spending more and more money into projects that were going to fail and making one bad decision after another. So the, a decision to make the company private and remove it from the stock market and just basically step back for several years and reinvent it would be the best decision ever and tencent i have i don't know a lot about them but i do think that they value profit over everything else and especially over dei i, I might be wrong if someone wants to correct me down in the comments i would be glad to read it however if you value profit and if you value a company to be returned to at least a part a portion of its former glory then this is what you have to do you have to make it private buy it out or sell it to someone who can take better care of it and this is the absolute right time because stocks are so low that it's basically a steal if that had happened in uh, 2021 this would be much more expensive and nobody would want to even attempt this because it's so much more expensive so yeah this is a story in development i will continue to follow the news to see if there are any concrete decisions made and if we'll receive some uh, solid information i will be posting on my x some updates and i'll probably make at least one more video in the following days but yeah that's all we have for today so thank you very much for watching this video tell me what you think down below do you think if ubisoft is sold or made private that will improve the company and we will be finally seeing good games coming out of that company and probably seeing it return to at least a portion of its former glory and possibly making good games again tell me what you think in the comment below please follow me on my socials subscribe to my channel and i would enjoy if you would also join my membership tier, which is on my channel be because I passed 3000 watch hours and I would love to have each and every one of you. Support me also on my Patreon where I raise money for homeless animals and animals in shelters. And don't forget to leave a comment to tell me what you think about my videos. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. I have been Helzo and this was disgusting. Cheers and stay fresh.